Hello, I'm Andrew Spicer, the Chief Research Scientist and Director of Algenuity. Uh, I want to introduce you to Algem, our lab-scale photobioreactor, and run through with you how to use this system. Our algal research team develops technologies to modify algae. We realized uh, quite early on in our research program that we actually needed a system to, to allow us to compare parental strains with modified strains, and also to optimize new strains when we really started growing them for the first time. We realized that we needed a photobioreactor that was affordable and easy to use, but actually had some features that weren't available through uh, currently available products on the market. So we went ahead and decided to build one ourselves, and that's what we, we came up with Algem here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you by stopping a profile and restarting it how easy it is to use this system. But it's not only easy to use, this is a sophisticated product that allows you to create uh, experiments to understand those elements that influence algal growth. You can use Algem to compare parental and modified strains, but you can also use the system to understand the impact of external var uh, variables on growth rate. For instance, you could compare how your strain were to grow in different environments around the world, for instance, uh, Hawaii in July versus Helsinki in July. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stop the current run and demonstrate how easy it is to change over a set of flasks and start a new experiment. The Algem is based on a two-unit system, and it's based on the lab flask, the lab Erlebier flask. To change over an experiment, you simply disconnect and remove the flask. You can see these are algae that have been growing for the last couple of days. If the student were to drop this, or a researcher were to drop this, it's not going to break the budget at all. So now my assistant will give me my new algae to grow. I slip them down into, the, into the, the chamber. Even though this is a simple system that's easy to use, it's actually sophisticated. Each chamber uh, provides a sophisticated lighting and temperature environment. We connect up via a lure lock, a very simple lure lock connection here to the gas supply. Now we've created a controlled temperature lighting environment around the flask that's ready to go. Now I'm going to run you through some of the features of the software package that we use to create that, those lighting and temperature profiles uh, to run Algen. By clicking on the Edit Profile button, you pull up uh, this window, which allows you to uh, have various options in terms of your lighting and your temperature. Uh, you can select a longitude and latitude, for instance, for a desired location, and you can specify a month of the year. When you do that, the, the system will pull up using a meteorological database, will pull up the lighting conditions and the temperature conditions for that time of the year, for that location. For instance, I can put in a longitude and latitude for Hawaii, and then I can do the same for Helsinki and create two different profiles. But you have other options too. You can do a constant temperature option or a constant lighting option. You can use a sine wave or a pulse wave option. You can do that both under lighting and under temperature. Um, under the lighting, you have the option of three different LEDs. We have red, white, and blue LEDs as standard, which you can use singly, or you can make customized blends. Your mixing also, you can do pulse, a pulse mixing option or a constant mixing option. And then lastly, continuous OD measurement. You have the option of how often you read the OD uh, through the flask. Once you've decided on all those parameters, you essentially put all those parameters in, save the profile, and that profile is then loaded into the system and you can draw upon that to run the system. So now I'm going to show you exactly doing that uh, from two profiles that I've created for Hawaii and Helsinki in July. So I simply access uh, from the folder Hawaii in July on this reactor on A, and for B we're going to run that in, uh, under Helsinki in July conditions. Uh, when you click on those buttons it uploads the profile and tells you what the reactor is going to do, and then to start the, the, the run you simply click on, on the play button. Uh, as the system starts to run, what it will do is start to accumulate optical density growth data, which will be plotted uh, in real time on the curve. You also have the option of, of analyzing that data as the run is proceeding, uh, to, for instance, to look at the impact of the lighting cycles and temperature uh, on growth of your algal strains. So you can plot all that data onto a single graph, 
comparing the, uh, the, the, the growth that's, that's occurring in both flasks at the same time. You would also have the option, if you have more than one algem unit, of actually incorporating all of that data on one graph to compare multiple uh, experiments at the same time. Algem is a simple system. It's easy to use, easy to set up. It's based on a lab flask, which is for the weir. But it allows you to create sophisticated profiles. It allows you to collect data in real time, which will have real bearing on understanding the impact of environmental variables on algae growth, and also allow you to analyze strains from one strain to another. We've found that it's been fantastic at accelerating our own research program. And excitedly, we're finding that it's doing the same for other groups. If you'd like to know more about Algem, please check us out on our website or contact us for more details.